The Mets open up a three game series with the Mariners on Friday night and highly touted prospect Ronnie Mauricio slated to make his Mets debut. Brett Beatty is also back with the big club. So let's talk some Metropolitan baseball with the co-host of the amazing but true podcast. That's Jake Brown who joins me now. Jake how you doing man. Doing well. It's the weekend. Uh, Ronnie's making his debut. The U.S. Open is here. I'm going to pull off both tonight. Okay. So it's it's a great time to be in Queens this weekend. All right. Great time to be in Queens indeed. We're going to start with some Ronnie Mauricio talk. Now, Jake, we've heard the hype around Mauricio all season. His bat had been knocking on the major league door, but defensively, he's had some issues and notably doesn't really have a position. Was this the right time to bring him up to the big leagues? I think the right time to bring Ronnie Mauricio to the big leagues was in July. I think this is late. Sure, it's better late than never that they're doing it. You have to see what you got in this kid. You got 28 games to do it. But July was the time when the Mets were still in the in the race, in the wild card race. You needed that spark. You needed to stop with the vocal backs of the world and see what Mauricio had. He didn't do it. So, you know, it's the right time because it's it's the only time. There's no more waiting. This is it. Rosters expand. No more excuses. No more coddling him. It's time to play him. Position-wise, sure, he's not the greatest defensively. But, listen, Brett Beatty wasn't the greatest at third base either. You know, you're not going to have a gold glover at every position. And you can mix and match with him. You can play him at DH. He's played mostly at second. You could put him at second because Jeff McNeil could go out and play left. So there are different places you could play Ronnie Mauricio defensively you live with it if he could provide the spark the bat kind of like ellie de la cruz did early on the speed you know he's got 23 stolen bases if he could provide all that i think this is something the mets lineup needs and uh you know it could be a spark going into next season then it's not gonna lead him to the playoffs but it could be a spark going into next year yeah mets fans will take a september spark right now from ronnie mauricio and you mentioned brett Beatty. he's back after being demoted in august but while at triple a syracuse he posted a 822 OPS, hit five homers in 17 games. So what are you expecting from the third baseman in his return to the majors? I'm expecting him to get his mojo back, get his swagger back, get some confidence back. A guy who tore up AAA at the beginning of the season, then goes back to AAA after a slump, tore it up. I think mentally he was drained here when he you know, knew he had to be the guy. Once Escobar was gone and it was all him every day, I think mentally it just wasn't all the way there with him. And I think getting his swagger back in AAA is going to help. Because, listen, the first month this guy was here, we were like, you know, he's the third baseman of the future. He's the guy. So it's not like he's shown us nothing. He just went through a dry spell and went through a slump. So I think Brett Beatty has that pure swing. We saw it the end of last year. We saw Spark. He got hurt. You know, we saw some of it this year. I'm excited to see what he does here. And you also got to factor in – He's around his guys now. What the Mets should be doing is playing all the young guys and playing the baby Mets. And now that he's got all of his pals around him, it's going to feel like AAA. And I think that level of comfortability is something that you can't look at the analytics. You can't look at the numbers. That comfortability with him and Ronnie around him and Francisco around him and Mark around him, Vientos, it's going to be super helpful towards his confidence. And I think he's going to feel right at home. And I want to see him out there with these guys. I want these guys out there every day. Yeah, well, talking about that, that leads me to my last question because with the two aforementioned players, talking about Beatty and also Mauricio joining Mark Vientos and Francisco Alvarez, the question here is, is the future now for the Mets and how much of what these baby Mets do in September do you think will impact decisions with this team for next season? Yeah, I think some of this guy, these guys' plays will impact their decision. Now, Francisco Alvarez is the catcher. I mean, he's been in a huge slump. He's regressed. But he's the guy. I mean, I don't think if he has a bad September, they're going to say, oh, do we got to reconsider this catcher thing? I think he showed enough that he's the guy. You have Narvaez. So if Alvarez ends up, you know, really, really continuing his struggle, you do have Narvaez to join him next year. But I think Alvarez is the guy. Now, Vientos, I think he's got a lot to prove here. I think Mark Vientos has not shown us that he should be on the roster next year. But he also hasn't been an everyday player. This is why it's so important that Buck needs to take whatever ego out of the way take Vogel back, you know, and his friendship with Alonzo out of the way, whatever it may be, it needs to be out the front door. No more Vogel back, no more Mendick, no more Arauz, you know, no more Ortega. He's been okay, but no more Ortega. DJ Stewart, yes, and then play these baby Mets. I think Vientos has a huge month, and then Mauricio, unfortunately, has limited month. He has 28 games, so he'll probably play, you know, 25 of them. 
And I think, yes, we need to see something from him because if he's bad, you're going to be like, oh, this is why they waited, and he won't be ready next year. But if he tears it up, he's going to have a chance to fight for a starting spot in spring training next year. So Mauricio is a big month. Beatty, I think they're still looking at to be the guy, but they may go sign a veteran third baseman if he has a bad month. So I don't think Alvarez has a ton to prove this month. I think Vientos, Mauricio, and some of Beatty do have something to prove. All right, I think those guys have something to prove, and we will see what they can do. But the Ronnie Mauricio era is here, and Jake Brown will be one of the people enjoying it, hopefully in Queens. Jake, have a great time in Queens. We will talk soon. Thank you for the time. Appreciate it, man. Play the baby Mets. Fuck. That's Thanks, the man. mantra. That is the mantra. Thanks, man.